Hey, it's Eric Growers and Smokers. Uh, we're finally going to be doing the weigh-in. Uh, I'm guilty as charged. I've been uh, smoking a bit of the weed before I weighed it, so you know, probably add like seven, ten, fourteen grams or something. Hey, it's Ricky Growers and Smokers. We're going to be doing our weigh-in on our sour diesel reveg. Um, this is what we've gotten from our earlier plants. What we did was we grew 50 plants on an ebb and flow table. We cut them down. That was a last crop, and then we left a few stumps. Five we revegged and grew out again. One monster one is all in this one bucket here in this CV vault. I wanted to keep it separate just out of curiosity of how much that one plant weighed on that one table. The rest, as you can see, was didn't account to very much compared to what's inside this container. Um, so we're gonna do a quick little weigh in here. We're gonna see what we ended up getting out of a 630 light ceramic metal halide, BC Grow gear, you can buy at our store. Uh, on a 4x4 ebb and flow table using greenhouse feeding, uh, grow, and uh, a short flower with booster. We did add some frost and some stunt at the beginning uh, from Diablo and some push. Uh, we were running hydrozyme all the way through because we wanted to, uh, our pH levels were going erratic and because we, there was so much decomposing root matter, we had to adjust that uh, accordingly. Uh, so the hydrozyme really helped stabilize the pH level over the duration. We were changing the reservoir every week or so, so there was really minimal feeding and a minimal, uh, minimal work, to be honest. Uh, we did such minimal work that some of the bugs did burn a little bit. You can kind of see a little bit of brown here and there. That's a little scor scorched from the light. Um, that was just, uh, it went out of control. We were a little bit busy, a little bit lazy, and that's what happens when you're busy and lazy. Um, so here we go, we're gonna turn this on here. We're gonna see what we got going on here. We're gonna add it all up. I need a pen and paper. And uh, we'll see what we get here. We got a zero there, it's our fruit bag. Uh, this is all been cured. We've been using our RH Stay Fresh in our bags here. I've been using the Bovida and the, and, the, and the CD Vault. And, uh, you know, we're, we're a little bit, uh, we got a little bit of branches in here, so don't worry about that so much. They don't weigh, they don't weigh much. We'll even pick a few of these branches off here. Uh, I like to keep my buds on their stick as much as possible. But uh, I, like, uh, I, like, I like to keep my bud like that. That's just the way to go. We'll, we'll strip some of this. Uh, some of this off of here. And see how I just snapped that branch? That's how you know it's cured. When you go to bend that branch and it snaps, that's when uh, that's when you're ready to go. Otherwise, if it just bends, you know you're still too moist, right? We're drying these out to 62% relative humidity. And these ones keep it uh, keep it like that. So here we go, we got 87, 88 grams. So we'll call it, uh, we'll call it 87. 87 grams in that one there. And now let's see what we get out of here. You'd be like on the gold rush there. We're at 52, 55, 61, 68, 70. What do we got there? We're at uh, 100 grams. We got 100 grams out of the second batch here, all right? So there we go, we got 100 grams. We're gonna have to throw this in, oh, it goes back in the bag too. So we got 188 grams so far, 87 grams so far. And these plants. So that's the small ones, that's the small plants. They really didn't, uh, really didn't, obviously amount, didn't seem like much. Remember using 630 watts. So to get only 100 grams, again, this is a re-veg, so this is not uh, the most ideal conditions of growing your, your cannabis, because we, uh, I do, I did notice that our, that our, that our density wasn't quite there. Our trichome production was quite impressive, um, but our density wasn't there, and that's what I heard was common for a re-veg situation. So here we go. Now we're gonna take a look at the, we're gonna need a little bigger container here. So uh, give me one second. As we wait, we're gonna be tossing in another container here. So you guys out, cause we actually just push this up. It's 
include it all in a nice clean container here that we'll store it in, but this will just make it easier for us to, to count what we got. We're gonna throw that beside there. Okay, so now we're gonna pop this open. We're back to zero. So in the C vault here, if you want to see this is a 21 liter, and uh, this is where we ended up in our in our container. So we got to, we got quite a bit here. There's gonna be some uh, some branches here. This in here is still a little bit uh, big branches, big butts. Some of these will just bust off real quick as we're going through. I didn't want to uh, separate them all, but we'll have a rough idea of where we're getting. This one here had nothing but nice, decent tops. Um, some of them are a little bit small, but not bad, I have to say. I've been smoking it, so it's been tasting pretty good. It's, uh, it's sour diesel. So we got, let's try and see if we can make hundreds and we'll make this easy. So here is 95, 96, there's 100, 101. Okay, you got 101. Okay, this is, remember, this is one, one plant here. So this one here was in the middle of our ebb and flow table. We're gonna bust out these branches and have people saying, oh, they got a bunch of lumber in there. You know what, uh, if it, anybody, has enough experience this lumber doesn't really amount to anything it's hollow when it's dried and cured like that it really doesn't amount to much i'd like to see uh butt on a stick at your local dispensary so uh but uh, we'll see about that okay so we're three let's start way in here throw this in here and 59 oh, we got some butts all on the floor oh, we got some floor soupings happening so here we got 93 86 so oh, there's 97. And we'll make this one 99 if we can. 95. 697. Yeah, 100. So there's 201. So that's so far. We're still not done yet. I'm going to take off some of these branches. There we go. And some of this will be making into edibles. A lot of this will be picking out uh, buds where we end up at the end. I usually collect all my uh, all my shake and all my bud dust there and whatever. I usually keep that for my edibles later on. I'll uh, collect them all separated. I did make bubble hash the other day with all my leftovers from the last few crops. So, uh, 64, 65, let's see what we got here. We got 79, 80, 93. 91, oh there we go, 96, 98, 99, there we go, now we got an even 300. So we're at 300 already, and we're still not done yet. We've still got some sizable buds in here. So, here we're going to start, uh, we're going to start uh, scooping this in here. So we got there, what have we got there? We got 70. Maybe 95. Oh, I'll take a couple of grams out of there. Uh, 101. What is that? Let's see again. What is that? 101. Is that what that is? 100. So there's 400 grams. Okay, we almost got a pound off that plant. Okay. So I'm gonna take this sea bolt card right here. Shoot the rest of this bed stuff right here. Look at that. And we got a little shake right at the bottom. So what do we got here? 455, one pound plant. So 455. So what do we got here? We got here something about 2, 14, 4, 1. We have 642. So there you go. See, out of a 630 watt bulb, I got 642 grams. Like I said, it's a little bit shy. This is a reveg, but even after reveg, I can get over a gram a watt of energy consumed. And this was a complete reveg. You know, no transplanting, no anything. Just let it go, and I burned a lot. I guarantee you, if I would have taken a little better care of it, I would have ended up with more. But without any care and without giving a shit and letting buds burn because of light heat and all that kind of stuff still banged out 640 grams like you know there it is the proof is in the pudding so now i can throw this all back in one container 
So here we go. This is, and then we're gonna be storing oh, all of our wheat in the in the seed ball here. We have to get so much wheat. Throw it around like candy here. And uh, and that's it. And this is gonna stay in here. And we're gonna continue to let it cure. Uh, I do uh, I do notice a big difference in taste and flavor if you uh, if you let it cure a good month or so. You'll really get the flavors out of this. But uh, and that's it. So one light. Filled up, it looks like a 21 liter sea vault. Done, and now I pack it away. This has got the Bovita packs in the, in the lid here, so it's not all over. I stuck the RH brush in there too. Um, and this is gonna sit like this in here for the next however long. I'm gonna try not to open it too much, try not to you know adjust it. And now I can do long-term storage with this. I might wanna switch to Bovita packs. I'm gonna have to bring them back. It's not 55%. For long-term storage but usually this stuff doesn't store like, too long for me i'll probably be through this before my next crop anyways have yourselves a great day you take care don't forget to follow us on youtube instagram twitter all that kind of stuff uh facebook blah 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 and uh like us share us um tell us what you think and stay tuned for more videos take care